Hi, it's me, ZoomNet58. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a paper fortune teller. Manta! Okay, let's get ready. Get your pencils and scissors and crowns and paper. And today, we'll show you, and this is how to do it. Okay, so this is how to make a paper fortune teller. You'll need one page of paper, piece, scissors, and a crown. Or a pencil, or colored pencil, or just a regular pencil, whatever you want. Markers. A crown and colored pencil you use better. So let's get started. Okay. First, let's have one regular sheet of paper. Then you fold it at least like until the till the end is like point and it's like this. Then you do this Then it's like a triangle. See? But you don't need this part right here. So all you do is fold that part. Do you see that line there? And then you use your scissors and cut it on the line. It's okay if you don't cut it on the line. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It still works. But once you got that covered, it was like a triangle like this. Then you unfold it as like a diamond. Then you fold it. Then you fold it. Then use the other way since now it's like this. Then you fold it like this. Until it's like that. Now now fold it um let's see, like like this till to and like almost to the middle but not at least make it like one like one centimeter from the middle and do it to each side. You have to fold them. Don't make them. Now, it has to be pointed, so just do this if it's not pointed. You can always go back and redo them if you don't get it perfect. Don't worry if you don't get it perfect, because there's all kinds of different ways to do it. But one thing, it doesn't have to be perfect, though. Remember that. Now once you got that, turn it over again, and then do it to the other side. Do the same thing. Well, it doesn't have to be, like, pointed if you don't want it to. Now once you do that, see both sides are like folded, then, then you make it, then you do this. See it's like that, then you fold it until it's like a perfect little square, about one inch. Then you unfold into a rectangle. And see this side with the paper? Now put your fingers on like this, on each side, like this, until, ta-da, a fortune teller.
See, look, it's gonna open the flaps and stuff. Then you unfold it again. Now you color it. On this side, you'll see the most. Now, like, color it with different things. Now just, like, do different things on the using dots because you don't have to. You do anything you want. You can use it for, like, who you going to marry and stuff. That's what most of my school does. But I don't want to do it. I do it differently because I like being unique. <laughs> okay. Let's color it anything you want. And see this? Down you color your answer what you're going to do. I'm just doing it loud. Because this is like a sample. Then you. Okay, see? Like, then like, pick a color. They say like, pick a color, or like, pick a number, or, or pick a, like, a letter, or a, whatever you want. Orange. Say orange. Like, this is a sample. Say, oh. I just do like, you can do it like that. That number, how many times, like, how many times, like, how many letters it is. But, just go do this, because I don't know how to spell orange very well. Then you like, I'm gonna like say that, and you do that again. And on the first time I want to say that, look, like, just slip up a flap, and it tells you how to do it. And that is how you make a paper fortune teller. Bye! Have fun with your fortune teller! Have fun with it. Yeah. Just have fun with it. Bye.